Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Bondi Snapshot. We're going to call it the auction edition. Wow, the auctions are certainly the powerhouse of today's real estate market. We had an amazing auction on Saturday down at 5 Mitchell Street. In the rain, it didn't stop a crowd of people turning out, PPD umbrellas everywhere, it was great. We had Shook delivering coffee from across the road. Thank you very much to Shook. Quite a few registered bidders. We'd had about 120 people through the campaign. It had been in the family for about 40 years. In actual fact, they bought the house in 1980 for $89,950. And guess what? It sold for $360,000 above reserve for a great price of $3.56 million. So big congratulations to my very happy vendors after 40 happy years living in the house. And another highlight of the start of this year is I have just got the 2026 Agent of the Year for 2021, Bondi Beach from Rate My Agent. Very excited, thanks to all. 2021, who'd have thought after 2020, an incredible start to the year, even though it's only the beginning of March, we've sold close to 100 properties in literally less than 60 days. I mean, go figure, it's been a pretty hectic ride. That includes quite a number of off-market properties. We are seeing a lot of vendors kind of not sure if they're actually going to market, but what we're seeing is that auction and an auction campaign is certainly producing those outstanding results. The media is full of it at the moment. Um, so you certainly do need to consider going into a full marketing campaign to actually reap the benefits. Because what we're hearing from Shaw Financial, our finance partners, and of course all the banks, is they're overrun with new loan applications. Money is still incredibly cheap. The Reserve Bank has held cash rates at its low 0.1%. One side effect of that cheap money is that the banks are a little bit overrun and it is actually taking quite a while for some applications to get through with some of the banks taking as long as five or six weeks. So if you are considering taking out a loan, it probably is in your best interest to get started sooner rather than later. Even if you're not looking at taking out a new loan, it might be worthwhile just having a look at refinancing. Um, a lot of people are kind of sitting on the existing floating rates and what we're finding is that even by asking the question of your bank, you can actually get a cheaper rate. In our recent sales meeting, um, Shaw sure Financial were suggesting that it's not a bad idea to have a look at a partial fixed and floating. So actually to avoid the problem of break fees, because it be, can be quite expensive to break out of a mortgage if, if situations change, but just doing a partial fix and maybe just for a couple of years could result in quite a big saving. So let's just take a quick snapshot look at some of those sales we've had over the last few weeks. And there has been quite a few, of course, 5 Mitchell Street was a great result with 3.56. 9 King Street, 2.7 uh, for a little freestanding house with no parking. We also had a fabulous result to Kate and her team was 9 Ebsworth. That was confidential, but that was in the 9 million range. A little one bedroom on Kalua Street. We had sold a similar one last year for 880. This one, this this year sold for just over a million dollars. It's showing the increase of even apartments are starting to catch up. The semi market still doing strong as we saw from the auction on Mitchell Street, but a couple of other semi prices. Last year we had a property on 456 Bronte Road that passed in at 4.2. We just resold that going back to market this year for 5.1. Also, 2 of 11 Pembroke Street in Bronte, beautifully finished, brand new semi, confidentially, but around the 5 million mark as well. Also, another one in Rose Bay, used to be the poorer cousin of Bondi and North Bondi, but actually achieving some spectacular results, as we saw by Ebsworth Street. On Old South Head Road, bit of a busy thoroughfare, used to be a tricky one to attract the punters to, but a huge result after just about 10 days on the campaign for just under 3.8 million. So over the weekend, also you might have seen the papers, but another record was broken in North Bondi with a semi selling for over 6 million. Be interesting to see how that influences the rest of the North Bondi market. We have got some great properties coming up for you. A two bedroom plus sunroom unit in a block of four with roof space on title. It's very appealing to a lot of buyers these days. Four of 78 Glenair Avenue. That's going to have a 1.1 guide. A great freestanding house coming up in North Bondi on Marivery Row, which has got a pool. It's going to be a wonderful family home. So as you can see from the number of sales we've had and the types of properties we're selling, everything is just flying out the door at the moment. If you are considering making 
a move. Prices are high, days on market very short, um, the market is very strong and there's a lot of buyers out there. We'd love to help you with those decisions. Easter is coming up, so there is a short space of time to list and sell before Easter. But having a look at the winter market or the autumn market as we're in now, it looks like it's still going to remain fairly strong and demand is gonna remain quite high. As always, if you have any questions, we'd love to say hi. Look forward to your call and I'll see you next time.